Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's answer the question, clearing the cash, does it really work? Almost every computer program saves information in the background, caching, and that can be used usually for performance and Premiere Pro is like all other applications, it saves an enormous amount of data on the computer. You can manually delete it, you can schedule to delete it, um, but the question is, does it really do anything? And over the last several years, the answer to a lot of problems is usually clear the cache, clear the cache. Well, I was in an Adobe meeting and um, the idea came up that clearing the cache is only for certain things. So we're gonna have a look at exactly what things it fixes and all the everything else it doesn't fix. But let's just look at what clearing the cache is right now. Uh, in the edit menu on Windows, Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, media cache, you have a location and you can delete the cache. And this is grayed out because I have um, a project loaded. If you start Premiere Pro and go to the same place and go to the prefs, which you can do without loading um, a, uh, a project, you can delete everything. This won't allow you to delete some of the, the files that are, are being used and whatever. So if you wanna delete this, which if I wanna delete it, I usually do this. I delete everything and then it's gone. Of course, you can point to a different location if you've saved your cache somewhere else. Just a little thing, I, I did a tutorial years ago about where to save the cache, and this is before uh, Macintosh HD and C drives were commonly SSDs. This is a Dell Precision 7770. It actually has two SSD uh, drives as in a RAID for my C drive, which means my C drive is insanely fast and huge. It's two terabytes. So I just leave it there. Uh, but anyway, you can clear the cache and that will fix some things. Now, let's go look at the things that aren't going to be improved by clearing the cache. The main times to clear your cache are, first of all, media is stuck pending or offline. So if you've loaded a, a, a project that you've worked on before and you get that media pending and it just sits there for a long time or it, it just comes up as the media is offline, but you know exactly where the media is, you know exactly this is a project you've worked on and now for whatever reason, Premiere Pro is having a, a fit. Well, this is one of the examples that clearing the cache should fix. The cache is that interaction between the program itself and all the dependent files. So that's one reason. The next reason, can't relink when it should be able to. Again, you know where the files are. Uh, you've got a project that should be relinking and you're trying to relink and relinking isn't working. The cache is the first place to go to try to fix something like this. Next up, strange playback issues not performance-based. So this isn't about um, stuttery performance or any of that. That, the cache is not going to fix that. This is for strange playback issues um, and and things that just aren't working the, the way they should uh, when you're looking at the screen and they're doing weird things. And the last one is audio waveforms are misbehaving. So if the audio waveforms, which have to redraw I mean, they have to draw. When you bring in an audio file, there is no waveform. Every computer program needs to draw a waveform and they're usually cached. If Again, if the cache is corrupt or the, the media database that links the cache peak files to that waveform are mixed up, then you'll have issues. Let me just go back to that strange playback issues. One, one thing um, that I wanna point out. I've got a transition right here and you can see it's red. Um, red doesn't always mean you have to render it. Red just means it's not accelerated. This is an old uh, transition and I'm going from this clip to that clip and you see it works. And if I hit playback, it plays back in real time. Let's say that you rendered that transition 
and or maybe you didn't even render that transition and this little section where the two clips are playing back at the same time maybe it's a dissolve or a wipe or a, a custom transition if if the piece that's inside that transition is old or wrong or different or not what you expected that's an example of strange playback issues and this was I don't think it's as common now, but it was a, a problem uh, in the past that people would say, wait a minute, I either changed the media or changed the, something, and that transition is still showing the old information. Clearing the cache is going to fix that. Guess what? Nothing else will be, will be fixed or improved by clearing the cache. I was surprised to hear that. That's why I made this tutorial. I just thought there was a giant laundry list but that's the only things that clearing the cache will uh, solve. So there you go. If you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to listen to these meetings that uh, Adobe has with uh, folks like me, and for me to admit that I didn't know everything, and I turned it into a useful tutorial for you. <laughs>